this is uh, Lori Gombos here from Outback Motor Tech. I will be explaining how to install our BMW 1250 GS GSA skid plate. I'm only making a separate video because it is slightly different versus the 1200, not by much, but uh, I still uh, I'm sure you would still appreciate if I explained it. So I already have the skid plate assembled here. And a couple of important things. The, the holes are, are corresponding holes. You can't mix them up because yes, it's in a triangle shape, but not symmetrically set out. So the, the bracket is the same. So you can't put them on backwards. Okay, same with the front, it's common sense. Very important. There are two six millimeter diameter bolts and they are shorter and you will be wondering why. Well, let me explain to you. It is shorter, this one is shorter, so it just barely reaches the, the plastic ring inside the nylock nut. So this one is shorter and the one back here, back here, the bottom one, it's also a bit shorter than these guys. Okay, it is because if it was longer, it would actually, it could come in contact with the, the exhaust header, the exhaust pipe, okay? So, front bracket, left side, rear, short. Left side, rear bracket, bottom one, put in the short M6 bolt. Okay, so this is uh, one very important detail. These are loose. You can, you can pre-install the brackets like this, but just leave them loose. I can rattle it and that's what you want. Okay, so nice uh, loose fitting on the skip plate and the brackets here and we can pop them on. But there's some more hardware. Though you will be getting four of these eight by 20 millimeter bolts. Make sure to use, uh, make sure to use uh, blue Loctite. Okay, they will go in here, Loctite them. And then these are from the crash bar. So you, um, you, will, you will put them back in. Uh, I will be using a 10 millimeter wrench or spanner, a small ratchet. It can be big if you want, doesn't matter. I'm gonna be using an extension on the small ratchet and a 10 millimeter socket here. Okay, this is the 10 millimeter socket, hex head. Also here, I have a bigger ratchet. Again, you can uh, have a smaller one, doesn't matter. I'm gonna be using an extension on this as well. And here I have an Allen. Okay, here, for some reason I can't zoom in right now, but anyhow, this Allen bit is, oh, there you go, eight millimeter. So you will be using an eight, I will be using an eight millimeter Allen for the bolts that will go back in here on the crash bar. Also, very important, there are two spacers. And these spacers are uh, narrower profile than the ones that come with the crash bars, because right now, there's a, a decent size gap, and this spacer with this kit it would be too small. But you have to also have to add the meat from from the bracket. Okay, so that will go in, and the spacer will go in between, and I will demonstrate that right now how it's going to go. So grab this kit plate, slide it through from the front to the back. Be careful. I'm gonna. Hook it on the, the the other side first on this tab, but I will try to do so. I kind of see it, okay? And then I'm gonna slide it up here. You might need to spread this apart a little bit and make sure the truck lines up as well. So I'm good here. I can hold it in place. I got the, the M8 bolts, make sure to use Loctite. I'm not gonna do it now because I'm just demonstrating this. Put in the bolt. So you tack it and it keeps it in place. I'm gonna go on the other side to make sure everything is okay. I'm gonna keep the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna slide this in on the front. I need to press on it. Everything is looking good here. Same and made by 20 mil. Make sure that I put Loctite on it. 
spin these in, it's easy. No, no tools at this point, forget about it. Okay, here, let me show you. Here, it's common sense where to put the spacer. So the skid plate tab pushes right against the crash bars tab. So obviously the spacer is gonna go in here. Not an easy task, be patient. Slide it in, keep it there in one finger, and then press the, the bolt back in through. Okay. So for this, I'm gonna use the eight millimeter Allen bit with the extension because it's gonna give me a, you know, leverage and a good tool to press on the bolt while twisting it in. So I, I need this to put pressure on the bolt if it's necessary or to align it, okay? So, spacer. And now I have to press from the bottom. I need to push from the bottom. I need to push from the bottom to line up the skip plate bracket hole and the crash bar bla uh, bracket hole plus the hole inside the engine. Now, I'm gonna push the bolt through and I, I, need to, I need to make sure the spacer is also li so lined up. So essentially you need to line up three holes and that, that's why it could be a bit challenging. And one idea I wanna share with you, you can grab a screwdriver flathead or, or Phillips or just a rod, like a steel rod like this. I will use probably this and push it through and and press on on the spacer and the brackets until everything lines up nicely because the bolt is just too large of a diameter to push on push through everything. Now it's looking good for me. I'll put the bolt in and I'm gonna grab the extension and the eight mil Allen and I I'm gonna press on it gently. I'm I'm I'm, I'm trying to get a feel for the thread and if the bolt is catching any thread. If not, I will move it around a bit. Push it down, pull it up, push it to the side or front and back until you feel that the thread is catching. And for me, it is beautiful. I'm looking good on the right side and it's still nice and loose. All right, more or less the same. Same thing, I'm gonna grab my my screwdriver and the spacer. Everything is looking good here for me now. And then let's see how it goes with the spacer when I reach behind. It's actually through and I keep it there with my two fingers. Then I'm gonna grab the M8 bolt and try to press it through. Now, if it's tight, don't worry. You might need to pull on this arm a little bit or might need to push on it. Or maybe it's the skid plate bracket, but it's gonna go through. Just be patient and try different techniques and you will succeed. Now, I need to find that hole inside the engine design for this crash bar and skid plate. And when it's there, I'm gonna start turning it with my hand. And the good thing about using your hand only, not a ratchet, is that likely that you're not going to strip the thread, which is very important. You don't want to strip the thread. That's that's a bit bad news. It can be fixed, but you don't want to. So with my hand, look, I'm using three fingers and it's going in very nicely. Let me show it to you. So that's, that's all I'm doing. And the bolt is going into its place. Easy, like butter. Okay, at this point, this skip plate has been installed and still loose. You can still rattle it. Okay, so this is very good news. That's what you want. Now, when this is done, you can go around and start tightening the bolts gradually. Okay, don't go crazy tightening each, each bolt and then move to the next one gradually, all right? Just uh, keep it uh, snug and then this and this and this and around all of them. And final step is the actual torquing, okay? All right, so you might wanna know the torque specs. This one is 38 Newton meter. Okay, the M8 and M6s, the 
Yeah, the M8 is 23 newton meter or 17 foot pound torque. And the six millimeter diameter ones are 9.7 newton meter or 7.1 foot pound. Okay, so that's pretty much it. You torque them and when you test ride it, or you go out for a spin, 100 kilometers, 150 or 80 miles, 100 miles, doesn't matter. When you get back home or back to your base and you have access to your tools again, just double check, just to make sure everything is to the torque specs and nothing has loosened. Okay, any questions, leave us a comment or write us, write to us at uh, info at outbackmotortech.com. Thanks for watching and have a good one.